Hi, my name is Brother Romwald Duchesne. I'm a, a novice monk of St. Vincent Arch Abbey in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm not originally from Pennsylvania. I'm uh, the oldest of three children in a uh, family from Minneapolis, which was a, a Catholic and Protestant background family that didn't practice the faith. Uh, I wasn't baptized when I was young, nor were any of my siblings. Uh, but, but over time, I, living around uh, my aunts and uncles and going to church with them occasionally, I did kind of feel a sense of, of God's presence in a lot of different things, but I didn't know how to address it because it wasn't a part of my family life. I was very successful in most things that I did, and, and in a way I had a blueprint. I would find something I would, would uh, want to achieve or, or gain or do, and I would do that. And so leaving high school, I had, uh, had a four-year scholarship to go to the Citadel, and, and I did so with the intent on being an active duty officer when I graduated, which I also did in 2002. While I was at school, I had a, a great appreciation for what was going on within my faith life, and I had started to go to church at the general Protestant services we had on campus. And as I'd prayed about things and read the Bible, I had a, uh, an experience that I felt that God said I should go and seek out a sacramental church. So I kind of looked into that, jumped on the computer, and said, what does that mean? And I realized after a time that the only churches that can claim to be truly sacramental churches uh, and have done since the beginning of their churches are the Catholic churches and the Orthodox churches. So I prayed about it, and as it happened, my junior year of college, I ran across the Catholic priest, and he said, join RCIA and see, see what you think. And I did, and I entered the church that year, was baptized uh, by Bishop Baker, then Bishop of Charleston, now Birmingham in 2001. Uh, I commissioned in 2002 and was sent to the Sinai Desert of Egypt on a peacekeeping mission and did very well there. I was at that time uh, kind of thinking about the priesthood uh, and, and when I look back at it now it was a uh, almost like what they call the honeymoon syndrome when you come in and you're full of zeal and uh, you say well I should be a priest and so I came to Virginia Beach for my next assignment and I wasn't much for a military chapel type community so I went to one of the local churches which happened to be the Benedictine parish in the Richmond Diocese staffed by the monks of St. Vincent. Uh, I started to tell the monks there, Father Mario and uh, Father John Mary and a bunch of the others, I thought I had possibly a priestly vocation so they said well you know, good, start spiritual direction with one of our monks here and we'll, we'll kind of, we'll pray with you and work with that and see if you do have a vocation. And as it turned out, I had one of the, one of the monks there direct me until I was deployed to Iraq. And in that case, he was assigned away. So we both went away at the same time. But he asked me, when you come back from Iraq and Kuwait, please uh, come visit our community and just see, take it as a retreat. And so I did, and at that time, I wasn't thinking at all about monastic life. I was still thinking priesthood. Um, time went by, and I continued to do well in the Army. Uh, but I was realizing I was going to be a 42-year-old, 20 years out of the Army, or 20 years in the Army, rather, and uh, retiring, still thinking about being a priest, uh, still, still having no resolution. And so... I decided to resign my commission in 2007, end of 2007, and go find work for about a year away from my family, away from most of my friends, and just really pray and discern. And so I did that. I joined a, a major construction company in the D.C. area and worked on a project. And as, as I was away from everything and I continued to pray, I would realized that, that I really need to take the, the calling to be a monk at St. Vincent more, more seriously. And so I continued to make more visits because I had seen in the community of St. Vincent's just a, a broad uh, brushstroke of all of humanity. There's men who are teachers, men who are artists, uh, men who love to be around people, men who are kind of shy. And so I felt like there was a good place for me in there and, and for my talents. And so uh, the rule invites you to come and, come and seek out and live in community. And if after a year you, you make vows, and so I've, I've said, well, Lord, uh, I'm going to try this out and I'm going to see where it leads. So here I am. Uh, the year has been very good so far. I'm about to conclude this year and make vows in about a month. And uh, it's been a good time of prayer and living with three of my brother, uh, brother novices in the community. 
and, and really seeking out God and seeing you know, what He has in store for, for all of us. Um, and it's been a very good year. So uh, I would uh, recommend to anyone who's thinking about a religious vocation to, to seek out a spiritual director if they don't have one already and really pray for the Holy Spirit to uh, take, take them uh, and use, it, use that, that man or woman uh, in any which way that, that the Holy Spirit's calling them and not to uh, avoid that. Uh, I've seen that that's, a, that's something in my life that, uh, that struggled for many years where I, I just didn't uh, accept the embrace of saying, yes, God, I'll do your will in this. And now I'm here and I've uh, thus far been very happy and uh, praise be to God for all of that. And I, I hope that uh, I continue to run the race.